Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back to another video. What's up, Tay Gang? We here with Meet the Grahams from Kendrick. Now, if you didn't watch my last video or all the videos about to come out, um, I reacted to Drake. I like Drake's. I think it's different for Drake, but I liked it. Um, it was a straight on diss. So it wasn't as like catchy as the uh, push ups. Because push ups was like a warm up. Push ups was like a warm up. Like I'm heating up on you. Family Matters? That nigga put pen to paper. He was not playing. He was actually trying to diss him back. Like, because I feel like people thought Drake was just going to, like, you know, step out and be like, like you know pussy out but i didn't think so i think drake was gonna come back with another you know banger i thought he was gonna come up with another one because he was like job job and he put it in the song so i was just like oh he actually was prepared so kendrick has meet the grahams and somebody was like um at work that all this stuff in the image is something out of a stolen briefcase so i don't know what what this is supposed to mean somebody comment down below if you know what it means but I'm ready to get into the video. Drake had a seven minute song. So this is six minutes. I need them to cut it shorter. Because this is too much. Alright, let's get into the video. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa would have wore a condom. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind them. Life is hard, I know. The challenge is always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. Hey, you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your leg, son. Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. Never fall in the escort business. That's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Never cold switch, whether right or wrong. You're black man even if it what in the world so okay so this is why i say i kendrick is a different vibe from drake why are we talking about adonis why are we speaking to him why are we even talking to a kid right now like i feel like this is weird like you know what i'm saying i feel like this is weird like okay now you just like straight on his kid like it's just like, I guess, like, let me be your daddy. Like, I'm your daddy, nigga. That nigga ain't gonna be a good father. Like, that's what he's trying to say. Like, you know, like, he's not a good father. But I'm like, just diss Drake. Like, just diss him head on. Like, let's get past this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even want to pause, but... I had to, because I wasn't understanding. They don't benefit your goals. Do some push-ups. Get some discipline. Don't cut them corners like your daddy did. Fuck what Ozempic did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians. Get a gym membership. Understand, no throwing rocks and hiding hands. That's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how he treats your moms. Don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again. Be sure. 5% will comprehend, but 95 is lost. Be proud of who you are. Your strength come from within. A lot of superstars that's real, but your daddy ain't one of them. And you nothing like him. You'll carry yourself as king. Can't understand me right now. Just play this when you're 18. Yeah, let's get past this part. I don't like that. Dear First Sandra, your son got some habits. I hope you don't undermine them. Especially with all the girls that's hurt inside this climate. You're a woman, so you know how it feels to be in the alignment. With emotions, hoping the man can see you and not be blinded. Dear Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator. Even using you to prove who he is is a huge favor. I think you should ask for more paper, and more paper, and more, uh, more paper. I'm blaming you for all this gambling addictions, psychopath intuition, the man that likes to play victim. You raised a horrible fucking person. The nerve for you, Dennis. Sandra, sit down. What I'm about to say is heavy. Now listen. <clears throat> Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest of their life. He hates black women, hypersexualize them with kinks of a nympho fetish. Grew facial hair because he understood her being a beard just fit him better. He got sex offenders on the OVO that he keep on a monthly allowance. And a child should never be compromised and he keeping his child around him. And we gotta raise our daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking. Fuck a rap battle. He should die so all of these women can live with a purpose. I've been in this industry 12 years. I'ma tell y'all one little secret. It's a Whoa. And some of these artists be here to police it. They be streaming hunting victims all inside of their home and calling them tender. Then leak videos of themselves to further push their agendas. To any woman that be playing this music, know that you're playing your sister. Or better yet, selling your niece. 
to the weirdos, not the good ones. Cat Williams that gave you the truth, so I'ma get mine. The embassy about to get ready too. It's only a matter of time. Hey, Lil Bron, keep the family away. Hey, Curry Reed, keep the family away. To anybody that embody the love for the kids, keep the family away. They looking at you too if you standing by him. Keep the family away. I'm looking to shoot through any pervert that lives. Keep the family safe. What do we know? Hold on. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much but his music, yeah, that's for sure. He a narcissist, misogynist, living inside his songs. Try Does he have a daughter? Taking care of his own. She'll be teaching you timetables or watching Frozen with you. Or at your 11th birthday, singing poems with you. Instead, he'd be in Turks, paying for sex and popping perks. Examples that you don't deserve. I want to tell you that you're loved. You're brave. You're kind. You got a gift to change the world. And can change your father's mind. Because our children is the future. But he lives inside confusion money's always been illusion but that's the life he's used to his father probably didn't claim him either history do repeats itself sometimes it don't need a reason but i would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding another child give him grace this the reason i made mr morale so our babies like you can cope later give you some confidence to go through something it's hope later i never want to hear you chase a man because it's felt behavior sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation you need to know that Love is eternity and trumps all pain. I tell you who your father is, just play the song when it rains. Yes, he's a hit maker, songwriter, superstar, right? And a fucking dead beat that should never say more life. Meet the grounds. He has a daughter? Dear Hybrid, I know you probably thinking I wanted to crash your party. But truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. It's supposed to be a good exhibition within the game. But you fucked up the moment you called out my family's name. Why you had to stoop so low to the credits of decent people? Guess integrity is lost when the metaphors doesn't reach you. And I like to understand, cause your house was never for a home. 37, but you showing up as a seven year old. You got gambling problems, drinking problems, pill popping and spending problems. Bad with money, poor house, soliciting women problems, therapies, a lovely start but i suggest some ayahuasca strip the ego from the bottom i try to empathize with you because i know that you ain't been through nothing crave entitlement but want to be like so bad that it's puzzling no dominance let's recap moments when you didn't fit in no secret handshakes with your friends no culture cachet to binge just disrespecting your mother identities on the fence don't know which family will love you the skin that you living in is compromised and personas can't channel your masculine even when standing next to a woman you a body shamer you go hide them baby mama's angel you embarrassed of them that's not right that ain't how mama raised us take that mask off i want to see what's under them achievements why well, believe you you never gave us nothing to believe in because you lied about religious views you lied about your surgery you lied about your accent and your past tense all is perjury you lied about your ghost riders you lied about your crew members they y'all pussy you lied on them i know they all got you in them you lied about your son you lied about your daughter huh you lied about them other kids that's out there hoping that you come you lied about the only artist that can offer you some help Fuck a rap battle, this a long life battle with yourself. What is going on? Bro, is that it? That that was it, y'all. Your child needs these three. I don't know what to say right now. This is a lot to digest right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a lot to like control because I don't know what's going on. I'm so lost, y'all. I'm very much like, where did this beef come from? Like, they have been beefing, but they were so low-key about it that it now it's just boiling over. It's just like, the, the house is on fire. It's what it feel like. Kendrick, I didn't like the beginning because I'm like, why are we, you know, why? I don't like the, uh, I don't know. Something threw me off in the beginning. I didn't really feel the vibes of... Oh, he about to come this Drake. It felt like he was trying to teach Adonis a lesson. Like, leave the kid alone. Like, why are we bringing up kids? Like, I feel like he should have never brought up no kids. No kids. No, you know, I just like, <laughs> but it's this and it's rap. You know, it's rap. They going to diss whatever they want. Whatever's on the table is on the table. You know what I'm saying? Should have kept it with, without the kids. But I just didn't like the beginning because it was just like, I'm expecting you to diss Drake. I'm not talking. We're not talking about the kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
but I do understand where he's going with this. Is like, you know, he's like breaking down his family and, and tearing, tearing his family apart, basically. You know what I'm saying? Telling them about themselves and about their lives and what they should do in their lives and how they should get better with their lives. You know, I don't know. And then he, he talked about Drake having a daughter. So now people, they're probably searching for her. They're probably looking for this hidden daughter because if a daughter comes to light, it just makes Drake whole look dumb it just make him look dumb now so then kendrick just by default wins and you know F, the fbi the shave room somebody gonna find her somebody baby mamas wanting clout you know you never know so i don't know we don't know if he has a daughter you know what i'm saying i don't really know that's not my business but i don't know <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm kind of curious though because kendrick had a lot to say but then he threw me off because he said all them kids out there go claim them like okay how many kids do he have do you know like do you really know how many kids he has like that i don't know it's shaky i don't know who i feel like i like okay i'm gonna say this again i think i like how drake this is because the song is like it it makes sense everything goes together well here it's like you like the bars you like the the intensity you like the vibe like it was giving me goosebumps that's why i couldn't even say nothing for real i was just listening i had to listen so i wouldn't miss anything but it gave me goosebumps it made me uncomfortable it made me feel like dang is he dissing me is he telling me about you know who is he talking about and i'm just like oh he's talking about drake i'd be forgetting i'm like <laughs> I'm like who is he talking about like why is he coming so aggressive so intense so uh, you know but he's dissing drake and drake spoke on his family so now he just broke his family down i don't know how drake can respond to this besides fighting that's the only way hang it up fight it out i don't know what they about to do but it's not, it's not ending well. You know what I'm saying? It's not looking well. It's not ending well. So comment down below what y'all think. I'm about to hit up out of here. I want everybody to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back with a video. Grr!